when I really get into a book, it's not the magic or the world that pulls me in. It's the characters. So this is my top 10 female fantasy character list. And wait till the end of the video if you want to see my three honorable mentions. Might be the one that you want. Number 10, Fable. Fable is not a character ready any magic or power. Instead, she has her wit, her courage, her determination to get herself back home. It is a fun story and she's a great character. Number nine, Gwen, Wheel of Time. Gwen is a persistent woman refusing to be left behind. Her life in a small village is not what she wanted. She sees herself doing more, becoming more. One of the most important characters in the Wheel of Time, she's an overlooked hero. Number eight, Arya Stark, Game of Thrones. Arya Stark's character arc is one of the funnest to read from the small rebellious child to the fearless warrior that she becomes. She is one of my favorites. Number seven, Orca, the Bloodsworn Saga. Orca is a great Viking warrior woman who will do anything, kill anyone to get back her stolen child. And she goes to the ends of the earth to find him. I am blood, I am death, I am vengeance. Shadow of the Gods, it's fantastic, read it. Number six, Rin, the Poppy War. Rin is an amazing character with an arc that is not unique to fantasy lore. The power of the god is a trope, but it is done so well that you can't help but root for Rin. Number five, Shay, the Jade City, the Greenbone Saga. Shay returns home and is caught in a whirlpool of a crime syndicate. She does what she has to do and it's not always right. She is a great character that you have to get behind. Number four, Misaki, Sword of Kaigen. Misaki is a mother and a wife and she has to do whatever she can to keep her family safe when her small village is attacked in the middle of a war and she has to rely on her skills which are great. You find out why she is such an amazing fighter. Number three, Shalon. Stormlight Archive. Shalon suffers from mental illness due to her abusive father. She is not a heroine or some tough soldier. That is not what makes her stand out. It is how, it is how she rises up and overcomes all that mental illness to do what she has to do to get her mission done. Number two, Katza Graceling. Graceling is a servant to a horrible king. She has but one job for the king, to kill, to be his weapon. Number one, Vin Mistborn. The appeal of Vin is her mental illness by the hands of her brother and how she overcomes and becomes something amazing in the process that makes her so great. Okay, honorable mention number one. Alina, Shadow and Bone. Shadow and Bone is a great story of Alina, this orphan girl that becomes this great, amazing fighter. I will mention number two, Katniss Everdeen, The Hunger Games. You have to love Katniss, this, this girl who has to join to save her sister and she becomes this symbol of rebellion, the symbol of freedom. She is fantastic. And honorable mention number three, Hermione Granger, Harry Potter. You have to admit that Hermione is probably the most important character in Harry Potter. Not the favorite character, but the most important character. They all would have died many times over if it wasn't for her. It was her smarts and intelligence that makes her so amazing and compelling to read. That's my list. Thank you for watching. Read Fantasy.